Hello everybody, Reed Carlberg here. We had a, a great webinar talking about Cloud Converter yesterday and the most common question we had was uh, how do you get it, how do you install it, uh, so that you can then go ahead and use it. So I wanted to take a second today and walk you through the process of adding it to your org. And it, again, this works with any org. It can work with a uh, Enterprise Edition, Unlimited Edition, uh, Developer Edition, a Sandbox, anything that's got API access, you can go ahead and follow these steps for. So step number one is you want to visit the modelmetrics.com website. So modelmetrics.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see blog. So I go ahead and click on blog. And when you do that, it's going to bring up a number of different items. So the first items it brings up, you'll see that uh, our CTO, John Barnes, has a few thoughts in regards to the uh, Google I.O. conference that he just returned from. So those are great, and I'd encourage you to uh, actually uh, go through and read those. Very interesting stuff. Uh, but as you cruise down, you'll see where there's the Cloud Converter Update post. So it's Cloud Converter Update from May 28th. Click on that, and you'll see at the bottom where I have a link that uh, is uh, what you need to have actually paste it into your web tab. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So I'll select it, do a right click, go down to copy. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a Salesforce org. So I'll switch over to Firefox where I have one queued up. This is actually the one that I used at the demo yesterday, but you'll notice the Cloud Converter tab is missing. So to add that tab back in, I'm going to click on Setup. Take just a moment while this uh, completes. I'm going to go to Tabs. And then you'll see here for Web Tabs, I don't have any in there. So that's what we want to create as a Web Tab. So I'm going to click on New. And I'm actually going to do the full page width because I think that's the way it fits uh, most effectively when you have a monitor that's only 1024 by 768. If you have a larger monitor, you might want to go ahead and use the two columns. So I'm going to give it a, a tab type of URL. I'm going to give it a tab label of Cloud Converter. And tab name, it assigns for me automatically based on a label. Tab style doesn't really matter. Um, I have a preference for uh, this leaf one, so I'm going to select that one. Content frame height, 600 is fine. You might want a little bit higher. It's up to you. It doesn't really make any difference. Click on Next. Okay, it's going to ask you for the URL details. So this is where you select everything that's in here, and you simply do a right click, go down to Paste, and the URL, which you copied from the previous blog post, is now in here. So it says HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, cloudconverter.modelmetrics.com, and the rest of it. Go ahead and click on Next. And this is where you can see how you want to have uh, that tab visible. Because this is a dev org, I'm just going to make it uh, default on for everybody. You might want to do that. You might not want to do that. It's up to you. Great. And so now you'll see up here on the top of my screen, I have a Cloud Converter tab. When I click on that, it brings me over to Cloud Converter. And this is where we started off the uh, YouTube from yesterday. So from here, I'll let you take it on your own. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to uh, drop me a note. It's rcarlberg at modelmetrics.com, or you can follow me on Twitter at at Reed Carlberg. Thank you very much.